<clears throat> okay, welcome to PLA 1600 Wills, Trusts, and Probate for the summer semester of 2017. I wanted to do a brief orientation video to get started here for folks that may have questions about the course to give you the lay of the land, to go through the syllabus and schedule, and to show you how the course is structured. So take it for granted that you found the um, watch first portion because right now I'm you know, playing video, so that's good. Let's go ahead and dip into some of the things in the read first module. You'll find information about the course syllabus and schedule, our policies for the course, as well as college policies on everything from academic support services, student services, uh, accessibility policies, tech requirements and tech support resources and issues. Um, within the syllabus page here, a couple of things to be mindful of. We're on a 12-week semester, so we run from May 15th to August 8th. The add drop period ends on the 19th, so if you want to withdraw and receive money back, you need to do so by Friday, May 19th. The course withdrawal period does not end until July 5th, but of course you will not receive any refund if it's after the 19th. College is closed Memorial Day and 4th of July, but I'll still be logging on those days, so that's really not too important for us. Due dates. Um, this course is structured into four main parts. Those parts close on Sunday nights. All work is due by 11.59 on those respective Sundays. At your leisure, you can go through these course policies and take a look at everything. Um, I've tried to update with the most relevant um, program and HCC policies and some stuff that's just my own course level policies, things like etiquette, uh, academic honesty. So if we hit on the, the syllabus here, you'll see a document that looks a lot like a traditional course syllabus with my contact information. Uh, please be aware that over the summer, I do not keep regular office hours. I'm, you know, um, fine to meet over the office. You just need to schedule it with me through email and I can come in and meet with you in person. Um, within this document, you'll see the course objectives and guidelines, all of our good policies. A lot of these are, are replicated other places within your Canvas page. But this is, of course, a very helpful guide on things. Course assessment, uh, we have four, uh, four tests during the course, uh, four different assignments, 12 quizzes, one thing that's a little different this summer is discussions are not mandatory, they're optional, and you'll receive extra credit for participating in those discussions. Here is a breakdown of points for the semester and the grading scale. So we can go back to the course page here and take a look at a couple other things. The class schedule is within this module. It'll open as a Word doc. This may be a handy one to print out. You'll see when the different parts open and close, the chapters that are included, uh, and the due dates for the quizzes and the assignments. So I've tried to put everything in a handy, easy to find, easy to use document here for my main parts with different themes throughout the parts. So with this course, it just works out well to kind of chunk things together um, we start out with, with the chapters on property and estate planning, and we get into wills, and then into trusts, and then finally into procedural law probate process. So the first three weeks, you'll be dealing with, you know, like chapter one is the concept of property, chapter two is estate plan and the need for a will, and chapter three is... Um, test state versus intestate laws of succession for you to go through. So it's just easier, I think, to handle the course instead of a weekly open and close in the four main parts. And we'll, we can take a look at one of them here. But before we do that, um, 
these preliminary activities that open today, you have until Sunday to complete these. The first one is just an introduction dis discussion where you introduce yourself um, to the rest of the class, and then a very easy orientation quiz to take. If you've read through the schedule and the syllabus, you've listened to this, uh, this video, um, spend a little bit of time just getting used to the course, you'll be fine on the orientation quiz. And then this module is where our discussions will be for extra credit. The first one opens next week. We'll talk about some problems with probate property. You can earn some extra credit points. And then as far as the coursework for part one, you'll see the objectives and goals, a quiz for each chapter, and then within each part, an assignment and a test. You'll want to go through and take all the chapter quizzes and read the chapters before you take the quip, before you take the test. Um, the assignments kind of build upon themselves as far as complexity. Um, they're more time involved as they go on. This first assignment is really not that difficult, but then in part two, you'll find yourself drafting a short will, part th three, doing a trust, part four, a short research paper. So they become more complex and more time involved as you go on. The tests are not cumulative, but the information does build upon itself. So you'll need to know some of what you've learned in part one and part two for the fourth test, just the way that this area of the law operates. What else should we go over? The open and close dates for the times are listed here, but another really good thing to be cognizant of is your calendar over here. So the course calendar will give you a very clear, fast display of what is coming up as far as due dates go. Uh, I've tried to lay it out a simple, easy to, you know, to handle course. There is a lot of information and a lot of reading with this course. Um, before the tests open, so let's take a look. Like test one is June 4th. I'll try to put up a sort of a study guide, a narrated PowerPoint the week before to help folks um, really hone in on what will be on the test and we can discuss the format uh, of the test as it gets a little bit closer to that due date. If you have any questions or concerns about the course, email me through Canvas is the easiest way to get in touch with me. I am on campus if you call me, but um, because I'm only on campus Tuesdays and Thursdays during the summer, it may take a little time to get back to your voicemail. So email will be the best mode of communication. Good luck this semester. I'll be in contact. And um, please get onto those preliminary activities right here. If, if folks do not fulfill those activities, you know, the, those are sort of preliminary first points of contact. Within the first week, I'll have to drop folks from the course um, for ad drop purposes as, as a, a student who has not attended um, the course. So good luck. I'm looking for um, a lot of interaction. And, um, and, and please, again, do not hesitate to reach out and contact me if you have questions. Good luck and take care.